Hey guys, Stay Patient here with my trophy review of the European sales on PSN this week. Now we've got this sale here which is all PlayStation exclusive stuff. We're not actually going to look through it because there are 31 pages and for the most part these are all games that are available on disc as well. So buying them retail is usually cheaper. Just as an example of that, you've got God of War 3 remastered for £12, which is very high because I think recently we had it on sale for about uh, £5. And it's like $6 at the moment on the North American store. So I felt like it wasn't really worth our time going through all the 31 pages of games if the prices aren't going to be that great. Uh, we do have a digital only sale though. So obviously these games can't be bought on disc. So if these are nice and cheap, these are worth picking up. We've got quite a lot of uh, easy platinums in this list. And we do have a lot of games that don't have platinums but are nice and quick and easy. I'm not going to be talking about all of them because it would just literally take about an hour or so. I don't want to take up all your time today. So we are going to focus on the highlights like the games that I've played that I can recommend to you and the games that definitely have easy platinums. Now I will remind you that with this being a buy one get one free sale, the price you're paying will basically be half of what's displayed. But what you want to do is, because the games are all different prices here, they hover around sort of uh, 5 to £8. Pounds, but you want to pair up games of the same price and buy them just two at a time. Because let's say for instance you have two games that are £8 pounds and two games that are £5, pounds, and you put them all into your basket and you buy them, both of the £5 pound games are going to be the free ones, that it's going to give you like the cheapest ones free. But if you just buy two £8 pound games together then it's forced to give you one of those £8 pound games for free and then you can pair up the £5 pound games and it will give you one of those for free and you're saving an extra £3. Pounds. So make sure that you pair up games of the same price, if there are games that you want that are priced the same obviously, and uh, just make sure not to have lots of varying prices all in your basket at the same time. Now we're going to try and fly through this because most of the games here you'll already be aware of because you know we've spoken about them on the channel before. Uh, Virginia is a 3 hour platinum, super super easy. Grow Up and Dear Esther are both 100% trophy sets with no platinums. They're both easy but uh, Grow Up takes several hours, maybe 10 hours or more I think and Dear Esther is really quick so if you're going to buy one of them then this is meant to be quite a good game. It's only like 2 hours long, no platinum but it's very easy. Beach Buggy Racing used to be really long winded but they've patched the European version to lower the uh, time requirement, lower the sort of uh, requirements for the trophies, there's not as much farming involved. Uh, it's not a great game, I found it really buggy and my save file got corrupted so I didn't bother carrying on with that. Uh, Hitman Go and Lara Croft Go, obviously everyone knows these are dead easy, if you follow a guide you'll probably get them done in 3 hours or so. Armor Krog, this doesn't have a plat either, but this looks really interesting. It's dead easy because it's a point and click adventure, but it's made using stop frame animation and clay models. And it looks really cool, I want to try it out just for that reason alone. Bears Can't Rift is like an average difficulty platinum, it doesn't take very long, but like I say, it's like a 5 out of 10. It looks kind of fun though, it's mostly just the time trials that will get in your way if you struggle with that kind of thing. Now we've got Nightmares from the Deep, The Cursed Heart. This is from the same developers as Clockwork Tales of Glass and Ink and also Enigmatis. They're all very similar sort of hidden item style games from the same developer like I said. Uh, this is the longest out of the three of them I believe. It's between like 5 and 10 hours to complete but if you follow a guide it's dead dead easy. Uh, we've got Retro City Rampage DX is an easy 100%. 101 Ways to Die. This has a platinum. This is a game that I think we've mentioned briefly on the channel but haven't really covered properly. So this is definitely worth checking out. I think it's easy. It's not like super straightforward but if you follow a guide it can be done in just a few hours or so. I think it takes over 10 hours if you're not following a guide. Uh, but yeah it looks kind of fun. You know it's definitely one to do a bit of research on and see if it's your kind of thing. Nice quick fairly easy platinum at least. Riptide GP Renegade, this is a sequel to Riptide GP 2, no they haven't got those in the wrong order, uh, but this isn't as easy, this is a tougher platinum, so don't be fooled by the fact that the previous one was pretty straightforward. Uh, Crystal Rift has a platinum, this is a bit of a weird one because on the trophy guide it's given a 3 out of 10, but then on the voting thread there's only 3 votes but they're all higher than 3 and one of them is like 7 or 8 I think, and if you go on psnprofiles.com it's got a very very low completion rating. So be wary of this one, even though the trophy guide says it's easy. I mean, there may be other things that are getting in the way of people platting it, but just do your own research first. Don't just assume there's going to be a straightforward one. Uh, Machinarium doesn't have a platinum, but it's a dead easy, dead quick, 100%, kind of like a point and click adventure, but 2D. 
Uh, on this page, we've got Manuel Samuel. We've mentioned this a few times. This is a bit harder than your typical easy plat, but it's considered amongst the dead easy ones just because it's so quick. It's only going to take a few hours. I think it's like two to four hours or something, or maybe five, somewhere around that kind of figure. Um, I think it's like a four out of 10 difficulty. Uh, but yeah, it definitely looks like one that trophy hunters should keep in mind. It looks kind of cool as well, very different, you know, very odd premise, but kind of interesting. Uh, cell damage HD, super quick, super easy, 100%, no platinum though. Unmechanical extended, this is another 100% list with no plat, but dead easy and dead quick if my memory serves me correctly. Uh, we've got a few games here. Another world is technically like, in theory, it's an easy one, but I think it's a bit buggy. Be careful of glitches in this one. And for some reason, it's in the trophy guide, it says it can take between half an hour and 10 hours depending on skill, even though it's given a one out of 10 for difficulty. So I really don't know how skill can cause it to take 20 times longer than someone else if it's that easy, but you might wanna <laughs> you know, take a look into that yourself. Uh, we got Riptide GB2 that I mentioned earlier. This is easy, some people struggle with it. It's not like dead, dead easy, but it's easy enough and enjoyable enough that you'll be happy sticking with it. And each event is only gonna take you a few tries. If you struggle with any of them, then just come back later when you've upgraded your, you know, your jet ski or whatever it's called. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, it's quite quick as well, by the way. Uh, Riptide GP2 takes about six to 10 hours. Uh, we've got the arcade game series triple pack, but unfortunately Miss Pac-Man isn't included here. So it's the two difficult ones. I say difficult, you know, relatively difficult. Uh, Gallagher and Dig Dug, they're the two hardest ones out of the four available games in this series. Uh, Pac-Man's a bit easier, but the easiest one is Miss Pac-Man. And to be honest, even those two Pac-Man games aren't that easy. I found them quite frustrating, so you have to keep uploading your save just in case you fail, and then you fail and have to quit out of the game and download your save again over and over again. And it gets kind of frustrating in the end. I kind of decided not to do any of the other ones. But, uh, you know, they're really quick. That's why people love them. They're really cheap as well. Although this isn't as cheap as they have been on the store in the past. Uh, Torin is a nice, quick, easy 100%. And Stickbold has a Platinum. So this is one that I was looking into a while ago and I was trying to keep my eye on it, but then I forgot to kind of check up on it. It's got, I think, a 20% completion rating on psnprofiles.com for the Platinum. That's fairly high. And it's given like, a, I think around a four out of 10 difficulty rating. It's quite quick as well. I think uh, somewhere around 10 hours. And this is definitely one to keep an eye on as well. Maybe check out, check out some guides and stuff and see if it's your kind of thing. Um, what have we got on this page here? We have, oh, Thomas Was Alone. I really love this game. This is like, uh, you know, it's a 2D game, very simple graphics. You're playing as different size blocks, basically, almost like Tetris blocks, but they're all either flat or just square or rectangle or whatever. And they all have different properties. So like the flat one's bouncy, so other blocks can bounce on him. And you basically switch between them and you position them. So you'll position the bouncy one at the bottom of a jump, and then you get one of the smaller ones to come along and bounce off him. Very simple. And you basically have to interact, you know, uh, all of the blocks together with each other, use them uh, in tandem to be able to make your way through these simple levels. The thing that makes it really cool, though, is the award winning narration. There's a guy that narrates throughout the whole thing, and he basically brings all these blocks to life and they become characters. And it becomes this whole story of how they're kind of like how their relationships with each other develop over time. It's so, so clever. It doesn't have a platinum but it's absolutely worth playing. Um, I would just pick it up whatever price it is. I had so much fun with it. And like I say, it's won a ton of awards, especially for the narration. So yeah, definitely check that out. Clockwork Tales of Glastening, we mentioned a moment ago, that can be done in about three hours. I've got a guide up for that on my channel. So check that out, that's nice and easy. Then we've got uh, Grand Prix Rock and Racing. This isn't super easy, but it's pretty straightforward and nice and quick as well, somewhere around five hours or so. Um, I think it's given like a four or five out of 10 difficulty rating. Some people struggle with it, other people find it really, really easy. So I think it depends on if you're used to racing games. It's one of those top-down racing games. So if you're like familiar with the old Micro Machines games or maybe like Motorstorm RC or whatever, then this might be nice and simple for you. Unfortunately, Rock and Racing uh, Off-Road DX, which is from the same developer, kind of same series, that doesn't have a plat for some reason, but oh well. Now you'll notice here that we're starting to get the Arcade Archives games released in Europe. Now this is great because a lot of these are super easy. In fact, there's a bunch here. We've got a full page of them on page seven. And then again on page eight, we've got a few more. Now I'm not gonna go through all the Arcade Archives games because that's pretty much the subject of a whole nother video. 
Uh, but basically, the way I see it is that any of the games that have sort of an 87, 88% average completion rating or higher, those are the easy ones. And if it's down around 70, 75%, maybe even 80%, then they're probably quite difficult because, you know, there are several trophies in the game that are dead easy. So anyone will be able to get them just by clicking on certain, you know, links in the options menus. So that accounts for like maybe 50% of the trophies anyway. And then because, you know, a lot of the people that buy these games are completionists, even if the game ends up being difficult, they're going to stick with it and they're going to earn those trophies. So if the game even has like a 70 to 80% completion rating, those could still be really quite difficult. It could just be that the completionists have put the work in to earn them. But, you know, some of them are really tough. They're really frustrating and annoying. Um, I forget exactly which ones. I think one of the wrestling ones, I think one of the ninja kid ones maybe. But uh, yeah, I recommend just go on psnprofiles.com, take a look at them. Any that are like a real high average completion rating, obviously the easiest ones are going to be almost 100%. They'll be like 98% roughly. Uh, so yeah, I'd base it on that. As soon as you get down to like lower than 80%, then that's probably a warning sign that there's going to be quite a bit of skill involved in it. We have a loan with you here. This has a platinum and it's quite simple. It's going to take a bit longer than the guide suggests, I think. Uh, some people say it's up around 20 hours, other people sort of 15 or whatever. But the great thing about this is that it's cross by between PS4 and PS Vita and each version does have a platinum. So you can double up on those trophies. Uh, we have uh, Letter Quest, which I really want to play at some point. I think it was free a few months ago, wasn't it? <laughs> it looks cool because I love Scrabble. And Foul Play here, this is the final game we're going to point out. This does have a platinum. It takes around 15 hours and it's pretty straightforward. So there are all the games we're going to cover in this sale, guys. I'm going to quickly take a look back at the deal of the week because I just realised I haven't looked at it yet. I'll go back to deals and offers here. Deal of the week... Um, oh yes, of course, so it was PES 2017, that's quite a tough one. So that's everything that we're going to cover today, guys. There's probably lots of other little discounts and stuff. You can take a look at the PlayStation Plus discounts and the price drops and everything. But we've looked at the key sale today, which does have a nice lot of easy plats in. So enjoy any games you play, guys. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below if you have any more information on some of the games, maybe the ones I didn't have time to cover. That would be great. We can build up a bit more knowledge for those watching the video and they can read through the comments and get... Uh, you know get a bit more information on all the rest of the games so thank you very much for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you soon